Keen here at Matt Smith Real Estate Group. I'm joined by Dietra at the Fugitive Beach in Rolla, Missouri. She's here to tell us about this hidden gem. Dietra, where did this all start? It originally started as my husband and I did it as an obstacle course and people generally just wanted to swim. So we nixed the obstacle course and started this. It was smaller with all these rocks in the water and slowly year by year we've taken them out and we just keep on expanding, adding more things year by year and each year we try to improve just a little bit as we can afford it and uh, that's how we do it. I love it and look at it now. Yes, yeah, definitely. What are some of your favorite things that you've put together here at Fugitive Beach? Personally, my favorite thing is the water slide only because I had a lot of building into it. It takes you hard and fast. It's 65 feet long, but also the 20 foot jump too. Those were actually part of the obstacle course originally. There's a lot of adventure whenever you're doing those things. Uh, they've been modified now so that normal citizens can take them, but they are quite the adventure whenever you do them. Who all comes to Fugitive Beach? I'm amazed at the type of people that actually wind up finding us. It's families. I actually met a gal yesterday from Florida, strangely enough. I, wow. I know, uh, but we get all kinds of folks here, but we are really trying to stay family focused and we've done a great job of doing that. We've built a family playground. We have the family games for them. Uh, so we get young kids, we get the teenagers. We have things for everybody that uh, can stay entertained throughout the day. So you mentioned about families. So of course, with safety being a big concern for a lot of families, what kind of measures do you have in place? Well, anybody that that is 10 and under has to wear a life jacket at all times. And then we have a buoyed area. And if anybody 10 and older goes beyond that buoyed area, they wear a life jacket. If you're doing any of those uh, quick entrance uh, jumps or those water slides, everybody has to wear a life jacket. But in addition to that, we also have security here at uh, all times of the day. Uh, we monitor the beaches. Uh, we are constantly just making sure that everybody is doing what they're supposed to be doing at all times. Times. What tips do you have for families planning to visit Fugitive Beach this summer? I would recommend for them to definitely bring their sunscreen and their towels, but also visit that website because it'll give them all the useful information they need to know on what to what they can bring and what they can bring. But also it gives them helpful information about our town. Our community is full of great hotels, great restaurants, wineries, anything they need to know. And that website is provided for you right here. Thank you so much for this amazing behind the scenes of this fantastic place. How can people get tickets and what are your hours? You can buy the tickets either online or you can walk right up to the gate to get those tickets. No reservations required. We are open Memorial Weekend through Labor Day weekend. Uh, in August, we go to weekends only, but our hours are 10 to six every day. Awesome. Thank you again so much. We look forward to seeing you at Fugitive Beach.